Good morning, we're with the Topsail EV instructional video program and I'm Steven and this is my lovely assistant Gigantor. Wait for the camera Gigantor. And today we're going to teach you how to solder. But first, a couple helpful reminders. Always, always wear your safety goggles. You're no good to anyone with no eyeballs. Now, having covered that, we're going to give you a couple warnings about the actual items involved in soldering. One, with the actual soldering iron itself, you run the risk of burn, electrical shock, and electrical burn. Be very careful and check to make sure that none of your wire is exposed. Now, what you're going to be using to solder is Rosin Core 6040 solder, which is 60% tin, 40% lead. That's enough lead to mess you up if ingested and there's also a risk of noxious vapors. Now with the rosin core, that helps the solder spread and cover your wires, but it'll also spatter while you're soldering, which is why the safety goggles are so important. Now, when you're soldering, most of the time it's going to be with wire. Now we have a section of wire with stripped ends, which you learn how to do in another one of our videos. And what you're going to want to do with these stripped ends is you're going to want to twist them to get rid of any loose ends that might compromise the stability of your solder. Now, having twisted them appropriately, you're going to want to do what we call tinning the wires, which is where you apply a little bit of solder to each end. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Now that you've got solder on each end, what you're going to do is put them in proximity with one another and just apply the iron with no more solder. One, two, three, there we go. Alright, and there you have it. The wires are soldered together. Alright, and here we have a close-up of tinning the wire. One, two, three, and there we go. One, two, three, and there we go. And now, once you have the ends tinned, just one, two, three, with no more solder. And there you have it. <laughs> now you're going to want to pull on them a little bit to make sure your solder held. But, like with wood glue in a wood joint, the actual uh, bonding element will be stronger than what it's holding together, so you don't want to pull too hard. But, there you have it. Thank you for joining us today.